Hey Steelers Nation! Our team is always striving to improve and bring better results for you, our loyal fans. If you're excited about the upcoming season, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Now, let's dive into some hot news regarding our wide receiver situation. The Pittsburgh Steelers have been searching for a player to complement George Pickens as a starting wide receiver. Despite multiple moves, including signing Van Jefferson and Quez Watkins, and drafting Roman Wilson in the third round of the 2024 NFL Draft, the team has yet to find a standout wideout. While they've been linked to San Francisco 49ers star receiver Brandon Ayuk, it seems unlikely they'll secure him. However, this might not be a significant issue come week one. Insider Brian Batko recently appeared on 93.7 The Fan to discuss why the current receiving core will be just fine. Arthur Smith, known for his run-heavy offenses with the Atlanta Falcons and Tennessee Titans, now leads the Steelers. Last season, Pittsburgh had a dominant running game with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren each racking up over 1,000 scrimmage yards, making Smith's philosophy a perfect match for the team. With this run-first approach, the Steelers might not need a second top-tier receiver. Expect the team to use 12 personnel, one running back, two tight ends, more often than the typical 11 personnel, one running back, one tight end. In 2023, Smith's Falcons used 11 personnel just 18% of the time, the lowest in the league. This same strategy will likely apply to Pittsburgh, utilizing multiple tight ends and running backs frequently. While it's not the norm in modern NFL offenses, if it works, no one in Steel City will complain. Pickens will be the primary receiver, expected to have a breakout season, while the other receiver spot may see a rotation. Jefferson, Wilson, and Calvin Austin III could all step in, depending on the game situation. In a run-centric offense, there are questions about its effectiveness, but with the uncertainties surrounding the quarterback and wide receiver positions, betting on the run game isn't a bad idea. What do you think about Batco's insights on our receiving core? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Steelers updates. Here we go, Steelers!